The following video will review proper techniques for collecting a buckle or cheek swab sample for processing in our laboratory in three easy steps. This will reduce the need for resample and is critical to yield good test results. Step 1. Complete the test requisition. Ensure that all sections are filled out accurately. Printing must be legible. Complete patient information. Complete physician information. Complete billing information. Attach insurance information. Complete service menu by selecting PGX1+. Complete specimen information section. Required fields include specimen type and count. Please submit two swabs. Complete clinical information section. Required fields are primary ICD-10 code and secondary ICD-10 codes. Also attach a list of patient's current medications if applicable. Affix additional barcode stickers to all supporting documents, such as medication lists and insurance forms. Ensure the physician signs the medical necessity statement and informed consent on the backside. Complete the required fields. Ensure that the patient has signed the informed consent. Step 2. Proper Buckle Swab Collection Print patient name and date of birth on the tube's label using ballpoint or permanent pen. Affix one barcode sticker from the test requisition form to unlabeled portion of each buckle swab tube. Have patient rinse his or her mouth with water immediately before specimen collection. Twist off and gently pull the cap to separate the buckle swab from the clear plastic tube. Take caution not to touch the swab head with your hands or fingers during this process. Hold the swab firmly and place it in the patient's mouth against the inside of his or her right cheek. With sufficient pressure, rub and rotate the swab, sweeping across the cheek and gum for a minimum of one minute, 30 seconds on the cheek and another 30 seconds on the gum. For best results, ensure the entire swab head makes contact with the patient's cheek and gum. Take caution not to touch swab head against patient's teeth, lips, or any other surface. Carefully reinsert the buccal swab into the clear plastic tube, leaving it partially open to air dry swab for five minutes. Once dry, press the cap firmly to secure. Repeat with second swab using alternate inner cheek and gum. Tips for proper buccal swab collection. With sufficient pressure, rub and rotate the swab for 30 seconds on the cheek and 30 seconds on the gum. Place the two buccal swab tubes into the biohazard bag and seal tightly to secure. Step three, packaging and shipping. Insert the completed signed test requisition form and signed informed consent into the document pouch on the outside of the biohazard bag containing the two buccal swab samples. Place the biohazard bag into the pre-addressed FedEx clinical shipping package. The completed test requisition, signed and informed consent, and two buccal swab sample tubes must all be submitted for testing. Please ensure that the requisition form is completed. Missing information will result in delays. Bring the package to FedEx facility or arrange pickup to ship to Admira Health. Contact Client Care if you have any questions. Admira Health, advancing precision medicine beyond diagnostics.